A haunting image moving millions of people. A beautiful girl with chubby cheeks and big expressive eyes. But this is not a photograph. It's a computer generated image. She's known only as Baby Doe. The body of the four year old was found in a garbage bag on a beach in Boston Harbor last month. It's very sad to look at these images. Forensic artist Christy Andrews of the Center for Missing and Exploited Children was given the heartbreaking autopsy photos and asked by law enforcement to recreate Baby Doe as she might have looked in life. She was too decomposed to use the photos that we received. She showed Inside Edition how she created the face that has now been viewed 50 million times online worldwide. I'll choose a face shape that I feel is similar to the deceased. She adds eyes matching the size and color of the dead child's. Then it's really just piece by piece, um, finding a nose. Each facial part is going to be individually manipulated. And Baby Doe's face gradually comes to life. She was found with a red hair tie, but it came back later from the ME that she had longer hair, almost as long as mine. Earrings were added after the medical examiner discovered Baby Doe's ears were pierced. There are other clues too. She was wearing polka dot pants with a Circo label purchased at Target. And she was wrapped in this zebra striped blanket bought at Kmart. Baby Doe bears a striking resemblance to an age progression image of Aaliyah Lunsford, a West Virginia toddler missing since 2011. But police say they checked and Baby Doe is not Aaliyah. But someone out there knows who she is and what happened to her. And thanks to the work of this artist, we now know what the little angel known as Baby Doe looks like. We don't know where their family is. Um, we don't know what happened to the child. You know, they're, they're a number. We don't want them to be a number.